Howdy, howdy, howdy. I'm trying something different right now. I'm trying a live stream. And uh, it's not work. It's, it's got a major time delay. Howdy, howdy, howdy. I'm trying something different. Let me different. put this down here. So this is interesting. I've never tried this on Zoom before. This is the first time. This is on my MacBook. And this is uh, a, a very, uh, I, I've been told that I could do Zoom through a live stream. And again, this is, uh, what's up, John? Johnny. Hey, Johnny. I'm just testing something. Um, hi, Richard. I, I, I'm in my bedroom. <laughs> I'm just hanging out in my bedroom. And uh, Sarah's from uh, Leonid and Friends. We want to get him on live tomorrow. Looks okay, thanks, Alex. I, I didn't realize I could go on live with Zoom. And all of a sudden, here I am. I'm just basically testing. I was just about to put, I think, the last Randy Backman interview up. And I thought, and, and I know the, the quality is not as good as my, um, my iPhone. But I'm testing this because I'm thinking of doing sort of a today in history thing on the other channel where I'll just go on, share my screen and have, you know what I mean? Uh, the, uh, hey, Shannon, I'm not going to put you on, but I'm actually streaming with Zoom live on YouTube. I, I've been told today I could do this. There's a little time delay in this, but it works. Hi, Shan. Hi. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everyone. <laughs> So this makes, this makes things a little easier. I'm just testing this, guys, because I, I just, uh, uh, Henry Gross last night, you know, the guy who sings uh, Springtime Mama and Shannon emailed me last night. He said, John, I'm almost finished my album and I want you to, let's do a thing together because I love Henry. He's a, he's a good guy. And uh, we were talking. I, was saying, I said, I don't know how to do this Zoom YouTube thing. And I'd rather not necessarily spend any more money on a streaming software. I've never streamed anything on my laptop. It's always on this. So if I stream on my laptop, I can use my microphone plugged in, which I don't have right now. So that makes Friday Night Live a lot easier. We're going to buy a, probably a better, uh, um, for the MacBook, a better uh, camera. So there you go. This changes things a little bit. This is... Um, I know a lot of other people who probably do this, know this, all this information already, but I'm kind of tickled with this. I had a, um, a couple of good interviews in the last little while, and we're going to put them up, but we want to, so that you guys know, we want to put artists on here live now a little bit more often. You know what I mean? Let me put this up here. It would be good that we, you could ask an artist things live as you know, as we're interviewing them. That's kind of what I want to do. So this solves it without me having to buy software. Yeah, this is, this is good. Okay, let me just read some of your comments. Hey, Alex looks okay. Alex, you have a beautiful home, by the way. Man, you have a nice home. Love that. Uh, Al says, it's working for me. Johnny says, favorite guitarist? Probably Lukather, Jeff Beck, Alex Knight. Sound is good. Okay, thank you. Soulful music, 100. All good. Johnny Aldrin, favorite band? Uh, asking a lot of questions, John. Um, favorite bands, Genesis, Toto, in Canada, it's April Wine. I love Supertramp a lot. Pink Floyd, Led Zepp, of course, the Beatles. Uh, James Bashir's, hello, John. Sending some love to you and your family. Thank you. Hike with Mike. Aloha, everybody. Al Broderick, Calling Occupants. Oh, man. I just did an intro for the three guys in uh, Terry Draper, John Wallace, Chuck, and D. Long from uh, Klaatu. I finally did the intro to it. I, I don't want you to fall over because I did this interview like two years ago. John's the only guy, you know, the band that everyone thought was the Beatles. I didn't think they were the Beatles. I, could, I, I thought, yeah, he sounds like John, but it's not John Lennon. Um, what are you looking for, Cookie? Uh, Shan, Danica's looking for something. She can't hear me. She's downstairs doing laundry. So anyway, um, 
I finally went downstairs and did the intro and extra for that and the whole Kenny Loggins interview and the whole Glenn Shorick interview and the whole everybody interview, everyone I've done. So there you go. Um, Jason, hello everyone from Riverside, California. How's it going? Sir John, Wolf Tracks. Love you and the family, Sir John from Florida. I'm testing. Well, I want to do interviews. This is a normal video call, just so that you know. A lot of you probably know this already. I'm way behind in technology. So when I interview people, I could have them on here and I could tell you, like we did before, but in this case, I just didn't want to buy software. I don't want to buy software that's going to cost me 30 bucks a month. I know that's not a lot to some people, but we're really trying to advertise this channel right now. So that's kind of what we're doing. Let me make this a little bit bigger so I can read the comments. The eyesight. I have a friend who uh, got COVID and he lost, um, he lost part of his eyesight. So it's crazy. Brought out uh, the the uh, the the he needed cataract surgery and it made it worse all of a sudden. It's strange. So when I'm looking at poor me, I'm, I'm uh, look how bad the quality of the video is. I got to really improve it. Um, Art matters. Hey John, and chat. Uh, Johnny Aldrin. Live gigs, nice. Thanks, John. Like with Mike Eagles, Led Zeppelin, The Who. Enough said. Yeah, I love the Eagles too. God, Doobie Brothers, Chicago. When I was 15 years old, my top bands would have been April Wine. Uh, I wasn't knee deep into Pink Floyd yet. Zeppelin were big. Uh, I was really loving the Beatles, you know, five years after the band broke up. So art matters. Quiet Riot reissues. Yeah. I was just talking to somebody about Frankie Benelli last night. I, had, I found a, a new friend who wrote this, and I'll promote this on this channel, this, this great article on adoption where his parents weren't interested. His mother wasn't interested in getting to know him. But the way this man described that article was just, to me, groundbreaking. I went, man, this is interesting. You know, I just couldn't believe how, how, how articulate he was. So much so that I told him, I said, listen, we've got to, we've got to FaceTime. And we did last night. We talked for, I think, uh, two and a half hours, three hours last night, just about life and rock and roll. And I'll, I'll, uh, I'll introduce you to him in the next little while. But, you know, it's, you've all done this where you meet someone and you go, I'm going to know this guy for the rest of my life. Um, it could be the case with a lot of you, you know, when we get to, uh, we're going to start doing live chats or one-on-one -on -one chats for our Patreon account. I know, I know it's been taking us forever. It's hard for me to form a Patreon account because there's a part of me that it's like, I don't deserve it. You know, I don't, we're not that big. We can't do that. But so many people on YouTube are doing it because they need a steady income because YouTube is not always uh, uh, a profitable, as profitable every, every month. So there you go. That's why. So, um, No one else already talks about uh, Little River Band. Well, we did quite a bit. And we also did another interview with Graham Goldman. Uh, Graham, uh, um, oh God, what's his name? Hold on, I'm getting him. I'm getting, I hate when this happens when I, I have an old man moment. B. Bertles, Glenn Shorick. Sorry, who's the other guy? Main writer, I can't believe. Crazy, something's wrong with my brain. Oh, you're from London, Ontario? Pookie Martinez. Art Matters, April Wine, Crocus, great times. Yeah, I like looking back at those times of, of being 15 years old, you know? 15, you're like right in the pocket, man. And not everyone finds their, their, their groove at 15, but musically I had. And then you mature from there, right? Uh, so this is interesting. So. What Zoom has done is basically taking me to a YouTube page, just so that you know. Um, and, uh, and it's basically right from Zoom, I go into this page where I guess if I want to, hold on, let me see. I'm just, I'm playing around here just so that I know what I'm doing. And yeah, so I can do that, I'm live. I can't see your comments on here. But if I go into YouTube, I'm just learning here. This is interesting. This is, 
I have never done this before. Shannon and I are doing Friday Night Lives and we can't plug a microphone in because our microphones are too powerful to support the iPhone. This is what we stream with all the time, my iPhone 12. Knowing this now, we can go and do, uh, um, we can do Friday Night Live with microphones talking to separate people, which, uh, man. Anyway, thanks, John. He's uh, uh, Serge's manager from uh, um, uh, Leonid and Friends. Le Leonid and Friends, that's how he says it. So he's from Ukraine, as you know, because I wanted to put him on live and maybe you guys could talk to him and ask him questions. You know, and, and I'm not sure if he'd, I don't think he'd see the comments. We'd have to read them out to him. And we did this on Friday Night Live, so it was cool. But anyway, let me get back to, hold on a second. Let me just, I'm just looking something up. I can do my Today in History thing live now. I think, uh, yeah, hold on. Graham Goble. Graham Goble. That's, I can't believe I forgot Graham Goble's name. Duh. Hold on. There we go. Graham Gold from Little River Band. That's what I meant a while ago. So, James Bashir's, in my mind, I'm still in my 20s. Isn't that so true? Arnold, I mean, the thing is, your 20 year old person is still living inside you. How could it not? It just knows a lot more information. It has the vocabulary is not from A to Z anymore, where you might speak with your inside voice. We just know. We're a bit more guarded in some areas, in some other areas we're not. But yeah, anyway, I'll read the rest of your comments. My body reminds me every day that I'm not. Uh, yeah, I hope you're having a good day. But that's so true. I mean, yesterday was damp here. So my, my knee, whatever that strap is on the outside of your knee, you know, that hurts sometimes if you walk too much. Um, that's the only thing in my body that hurts. Everything else doesn't. Okay. Maureen, my first rock concert was Alice Cooper in 74. Wow. How old were you, Maureen, when you went? Pookie Martinez, Rush. Um, oh, I just lost everything. 17 is a magic age to hike with Mike. Yeah, it really is for a lot of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was Maureen that said that. How old were you? Pookie. Rush Fave Canadian Group. Ronnie Parker. Hey, Ronnie. Ronnie, have you been on here before? I don't recognize your name. Uh, you came upon the Randy Meisner interview. Sorry, I need reading glasses. God, <laughs> we're just talking about our age. What? Where's my teeth? You ran across the Randy Meisner interview. I ran across a Randy Meisner interview with Joe Walsh about a year ago. You sounded good. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Hike with Mike, 17 is a magical age. Yes, Wolf Tracks. A great idea about in, in uh, interacting with musicians. I got to ask questions once to uh, Wesley Snipes years ago on, on live internet. Wow, that's pretty cool. Sharon says, we really, was really into uh, a lot reggae at 15. Wow, you were, I think, more mature than I was. I couldn't appreciate reggae at all till, and I still really can't. I'm not a reggae guy, but I think there's a, I think there's a, a maturity level there. Not for everyone, because reggae is very simple to a lot of people. But I think you have to have a, a, a I think you have to have a, um, a certain musical taste to enjoy it. I don't know. Pookie Martinez, Mark Farner interview. Well, I've interviewed him twice on this channel, and I'm interested in getting to interview him again. Irene Brophy. Hi, John. Hi, Irene. At work. But popping in sounds and looks good to me. Thank you. Richard Kenmore, hi there. Hey, Richard. Have you been on here before? I don't recognize your name. And if I don't recognize your name, you've been here before. It just means there's so many names on here because we got 43 people right now. Um, uh, Al Broderick, can you use a Zoom recorder to interface uh, to Zoom recorder to interface with your laptop? I don't know what a Zoom recorder is. What I'm going to do is just get another, um, I'm going to get a better, uh, a better camera, I think, just to hook it up to my MacBook. This is a very powerful MacBook. I, 
spent a lot of money on it, but I, I, I bought it refinished because you know, the channel doesn't make enough money for us just to go out and buy a MacBook, an expensive MacBook. But we spent all the money on a refurbished one, which had uh, two terabytes of hard drive and a, on, a, a lot of, um, you know, some good memory. And it's pretty fast, but it has a bad uh, camera. Al says, I'm 65 and every age has been a magical one so far. Wow, Downey Studios. I'm only 21 and I'm seeing Richie Fure and Jim Messina next month. Good for you. Good for you. You'll enjoy it. Johnny Aldrin, Russian UFO, September 19th and 20th, 21st, 1977, Portland, Oregon. My ex-girlfriend, good friend of mine, Carrie, is a, is a principal in Portland. She did really, really well for herself. She was a beauty queen when I was dating her. And then she just kind of left that world behind. She's a very, very beautiful girl, but very bright. And uh, married an American, went to Portland, divorced an American, stayed in the U.S., and uh, is a principal. I'm so proud of her. Shauna, my uh, first rock concert in Liverpool was Pink Floyd at the age of 13 for a friend's birthday. We went there with her father. Wow. <laughs> yeah, tuck that in your belt. That's good. A pookie says, congrats, John. Uh, now, oh, 90.4K. Yeah, we're hoping to get 91 hopefully next week. Lucinda, hi, John. Hi, Lucinda. Art Matters. Al Broderick. Best gig. Richard Kenmore. First concert. Oh, Joe freaking Walsh. Right on. Maureen says, as they say, my life is getting longer as my memory is getting shorter. <laughs> Yeah, this is the first time I've been in my bedroom. I think I did one before when I talked about James Taylor. I was doing a review on James Taylor on another channel, the Aircom Radio Network channel. And I was in my bedroom because they had demonetized my video or something because I was using the music. Maria Day. Hey, Maria. Hey, Chris. Hi, John. Audio. Uh, Junkabus. So is it me or does Al Miola look and play like he hasn't aged in 25 years. The guy, I don't know, Al Miola. I used to play a lot of Al Miola when I was doing jazz. And um, what's that album where he's, he's, there's that woman in the cover with him. I know a lot of jazz guys used to do that kind of stuff before. Um, I used to play that one a lot. But that's been a lot of years. That's like 1986. Yeah. Anyway. My first concert, the sentence says, my first concert was Loverboy. Opening for Journey, 1983, the Great Western Forum, Los Angeles. Chris says, my first concert was Bob Seger. Wow, never seen Bob Seger. It's dark in here. This is the worst lighting. I look like I, I've been bitten by a zombie. I, I, I got some zombie juice inside of me. Oh, let me show you outside uh, our house here. Let me unplug just a little bit. This is what we look at in in uh, in our in our bedroom. Look at look at look how nice that is. We got this huge tree outside. Can you see that? Isn't that a beautiful tree? I mean, it's kind of like a Charlie Brown huge tree. But I come in here. I do all my work in this bed. You guys might not know that. Um, yeah, there you can see it. Yeah. But by the way, those are pictures of Shannon and me beside there. That was Shannon when she was modeling, uh, and Shannon that was her beauty pageant. <laughs> Dating a lot of beauty pageant girls. Um, but this one I married. Anyway, that's, yeah, that's Shannon over there with her big hair. Okay, let me get back to, that's a lot of hairspray. A lot of hairspray. Okay. Um, Jeffrey Lang. My first concert was in 1974, seeing Chicago, touring the Seven album at a Montreal Forum. Wow. Age of 17 years old. The memory that stays with me, uh, like the sweet smell of, I can't even say that because I'll get demonetized, but anyway. Kevin J. Stoll, my first concert was Kansas in 76, uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Last concert was ACDC 2009. Lucinda says, my first concert was Loverboy opening for Journey. Oh, I saw that. Chris says, my first concert was Bob Seger. Yeah, we got some of these. Okay, sorry. Uh, Shun Guy. My first concert was the Who Exhibition Stadium 82. Infamous Joe Jackson opening. Okay, where have I gone? I just lost that. Okay, Ike with Mike. Ronnie James, uh, you mean Dio. K 
Kevin J. Stoll, who on who on here collects and buys vinyl? I think a lot of people do. I, I still do quite a bit. Maria Day, my first concert was Neil Diamond. Wow. I couldn't go see Neil Diamond because I had to work that night. I was on the air, on the radio. Maria Day, uh, Jerry says, hey, John, my first concert was in 73 to see the Doobie Brothers, Journey, Emmylou Harris, and the LA Forum. I saw the Doobies on their farewell tour. So Tom wasn't with them, but Michael was. Of course, they came back after that. Art matters. My dad, uh, like Bob Seger, no comment. Okay. Pookie says, Al Miola just did an interview with Rick Beato. He did. Al looks great. I see uh, Al Paco and, uh, oh yeah, John McLaughlin in the late 90s. Maria Day, I still buy vinyl. The Green Bird, now there's a username. I have an older sister that saw The Who on their Tommy tour. Wow, cool. First concert. Kim Trickle. I'm going to see James Taylor at the Doobie Brothers and the Doobie Brothers in June and Toto at the end of April. Art Matters, Maria, vinyl rules. I love vinyl. I'm trying to get the Wyndham Hill stuff in vinyl because I, I left rock and roll. I was still doing my syndicated rock show, <clears throat> but I left rock and roll live radio and did the, the new age format in, from 86 to 89. Then I was hired by a chum, a big company in radio in Canada to do it in Vancouver. And I was just tickled. I mean, Vancouver is the second biggest English speaking market in the country. So I went, yes, please. Um, Sharon says, my first concert was the Beach Boys at Royal Albert Hall in London, 2009. Kevin says, my first concert was the Almond Brothers. I, I don't know how we got to the first concert thing. All of a sudden where everyone's doing the first concert thing. Yeah, that's okay. It's all good. Please like our video, by the way. Please like our video. Oops, what am I doing here? I'm just pressing buttons and I don't know what I'm doing. <clears throat> so here's the idea I have. I, I want to go on the other channel and do some live stuff with Today in History. Just play around with it. Let's, and I'll do it with better lighting and a better camera. And I'm because I'm a radio guy, I'm kind of used to like flipping things and just changing things around um, and I'll see what I can do with it, you know, to share the screen. If I'm talking about Henry Gross or uh, Randy Bachman or something like that, I can, or maybe I can put clips in. I'm not even sure if I can do that live. I might have to buy a restream, like restream or Ecamm or something like that. I used to have Ecamm, but I'd rather not have another monthly bill. Hmm. Lucinda. Anything special planned for the 100K subscribers? I don't know yet. Do many, what do you think I should do? I, I don't want to count chickens because I'm still a few months away from that. But I don't know. I think that we might have uh, a special guest on with us. I think it'd be nice to have a special guest. Don't you think? 100K, bring on, I don't know, maybe one of our favorite artists. That could be nice. I'd like to bring Steve Picaro on because Steve... I have such warm feelings towards the man. I just love the man. I think he, of all the people I've ever interviewed, he's one of my favorites. And, and I think such a nice guy. So he, he'd be one. Uh, Randy Backman might be someone I'd bring on. You know, um, I don't know. Steve Picaro comes up as the number one guy that I would bring on. So I can't believe I'm doing this. Can't believe I'm doing this on Zoom. I can't believe it's working. I didn't think it would. Um, Irene Brophy says, wow, been to so many, I cannot remember my first concert, maybe Air Supply. Lucinda, anything special? Yeah, I got that. Thank you, Lucinda. By the way, please like our video. Um, it's so weird I say I'm on this live for, for when I'm on live because I, I'm, I'm like, I cannot say that on the radio and I never say that on the radio. It's so strange, but you change the modality, you go on live. And all of a sudden, I'm in between takes. And when I'm reading, I go, um, something I haven't done on the radio in years. And I've been doing this 39 years. So I'm going to start paying attention and not doing that. They say in radio, have silence instead of that. So let's, let's see if I can do it. I don't know. Sharon says, my last concert was the Beach Boys, Royal Albert Hall, June 2009. Kevin says, my favorite concert was the Almond Brothers with... Point Blank, 38 Special, Fort Wayne, 1980. 
hike with Mike, my first concert. I don't, how do we get on first concerts? Everyone's saying that now, but that's okay. I don't mind. Hike with Mike. Uh, first concert, ACDC. Last concert I went to was Bring Me the Horizon. My niece is married to the lead guitarist. Oh, cool. Shunt guy, Toronto got Joe Jackson and everybody else got the Clash. Clash stayed in New York City to do tomorrow's show. Jack, I don't know what's going on here. I love vinyl. Sharon says, does anybody know where I can write Ringo Starr? You should talk to him on a live feed. He does live feeds. Uh, the, the Beatles are hard to get a hold of. You got to get the whole of the publicist. And I don't even know who Ringo Starr's publicist is. Or Paul's for that matter. Irene. Last concert at Elton John 2018. Second week of the Goodbye Elbrick Road Tour. Maureen writes, would be interested in talking to Mickey Dolenz. I'd like to talk to him. I don't really, I, I've reached out to him, to him uh, a couple of years ago. Nothing. Bookie Martinez. I just reached out to uh, Neil Giraldo and Pat Benatar twice. Uh, and whoever runs their site, I mean, it could be them, runs their Facebook, read it, but never got back to me. And it's not like we're a little channel. It's not like we're like schmoes, right? I'm sometimes surprised when people don't get back, at least say, no, they're not doing it. Because we're like, we, we've, we've worked hard. We're one of the top channels who do this, you know, on, on YouTube. And, uh, but yeah, it's strange. Lucinda, maybe during future interviews, you could ask the guest to shout out, uh, uh, shout out your 100K subscribers and then make a montage. Yeah, I could do that. Hey, the music critic, hello. Game Trickle, hi. Uh, oh, here's my dog. Rudy, come here, come, come, come on. Rudy, come, 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 come here. Look at this guy. It's a star in the making. He's got long legs like a rabbit. He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. Oh, don't touch that. Oh, don't, don't touch that. <laughs> he just made the screen almost disappear. He's on screen, Shani. Oh, look at this guy. How can you not love? How can you not love this dog? He's such a good boy. Okay, you can go now. I think he wants to stay. Uh, by the way, he's a cockapoo poo. And what is he, Shani? Three quarters, three quarters poodle and a quarter cocker spaniel, even though he looks the other way around. So there you go. What do we got here? We got some comments. Again, music critic. Hello, Kim Trickle. Uh, hike with Mike. The Beatles are still around. Well, the, they're not around, but two of them are around. Richard, love your channel. Thank you. Kim, Ringo is on Instagram. He is. Maria Day, I like your channels. Thank you. Uh, Jeff uh, Vizian, I know for Mickey, it's Rhino Records. Okay. Keith says, hey, rock music family. Hey, Keith, how you doing, man? Keith Hayes. Oops, I just went way up. Uh, Shut guy, have you uh, have seen nearly every big classic rock band? Wow. Art Matters, love Pat Banatar. I wish they got back to me. Richard, nice. Pookie, John, how about a John K interview? I uh, reached out to him. I, I haven't heard back. Jeff Vizian, don't say. The Green Bird, actually Ringo got more fans uh, than the other Beatles? Okay. Hike with Mike. Here Comes the Sun is the biggest Beatles song on the George song on Spotify. You know that? I, I couldn't believe it when I saw it. Well, what? Not that I don't like Here Comes the Sun. It's one of my favorite Beatles songs. But I was surprised. It might have changed since then, but. Hey, Rudy, handsome fella. A dog groomer would say that. There you go. Uh, good boy. Lucinda begs. Hit the thumbs up, guys. Yeah, thank you. Hit the, th the thumbs up. I appreciate it if you do. I'm sorry about the quality, but I'm just testing on Zoom, and I've never done this before. This means I can put my microphone, my uh, Blue Yeti microphone right into this and I'll have an amazing quality. <clears throat> and I, yes, I'm in my bed. It's a big king size bed. And I, and I sleep on the edge of the bed. You ever find, <laughs> I don't know why I do that. My legs sticking out. I do that because when I was a kid, I was afraid of the dark so much 
that I was all covered up and I was just like a little, it was awful. I think Chicago, Patricia touring with anybody is a good dogs rock. Yes. Dog groomer, free groom for Rudy in Miramichi. Oh, do we know each other, dog groomer? I forget. We've talked before. I know you've been on here before. Is that what you do in Miramichi? And and sorry if we've said you've said this before, mainly because I have so many people on here and I do so many interviews, sometimes I lose track. Or I'm just getting old. <laughs> Short-term memory, they say. You walk into a room and you go... <coughs> What the heck? Why am I here? Why did I come into this room? Sweet Savage. Hey, hello, John. Hey, man. Nice to have you back. Maureen. So the dogs, uh, uh, Cocker Poodle. Uh, uh, no. What is he again, Shan? No, but what's, what? he's a Cockapoo Poo, right? Yeah, three quarter Poodle, three quarter Cocker. Three quarter Poodle and Cocker and one quarter Cocker, even though he looks the other way around. Because he looks a more cocker spoon, uh, cocker spoonial, <laughs> cocker spoonial, Shan. That's good radio. Yeah, thanks, honey. Best Boston album, well, the first art, first album. Second one was kind of uh, uh, th a thin down version of the first one, but it was still really good. Don't look back. I love Don't Look Back. Hike with Mike. I love uh, Here Comes the Sun. I, that's the song you want played at your funeral, oh, but you're not a Beatles fan. Chris, I've seen Alice Cooper in the State Fair, West Virginia. Some guy caught Rick uh, drum. Caught, oh, uh, you caught his drumsticks. Cool. Okay, I've just lost my where I'm at here. What it does is it'll go way up when I get a lot of comments. It'll go, and I go, where was I? Thoughts on Taylor Hawkins? Uh, it was really sad, you know. It was, and they canceled their tour today. Did you hear that? The, they they canceled their tour. Um, let's go off topic a little bit. What do you think of the Oscars and that incident? I went to bed before that happened, so I didn't see it till the morning. And our our entertainment channel is. I was going to do something on it, but we can't live stream yet. We're almost at the point where we have enough views so we can live stream. And I was going to do something with it. And it was an interesting thing in it because you can't go on Facebook today or yesterday without sh having a, you know, showing Will Smith punching Chris Rock or slapping him is what he did. So it was, uh, excuse me, the first time I've actually sat down today. So I'm coming down a little bit after having a really strong coffee. It shocked me, but I've never been a Will Smith fan. There's always been, I don't know what it is. Remember, I talked about this. Sometimes you watch someone, you don't know why. I love Chris Rock. I've always loved Chris Rock. So it's easy for me to pick sides. But, you know, violence is, you know, the tough guy saying, oh, well, you dishonored my wife. I'm like, yeah, I, I understand that. I can really understand all points of view. Chris Rock shouldn't have said that. But he, he claims he didn't know about the alopecia thing. So... It was disturbing to see that. I uh, wish he hadn't done it. I think it's hurt his career a lot by doing that. But I'm also very open when I hear the other point of view. But, you know, when you resort to violence, why would you do that? You don't have to. I always say this when people say crap about other people. Was that necessary? Do you have to say that? Sometimes you do when you're really angry. And then when he was swearing at him, when he came back down, he still, and he's, the look on his face is like the look of a freaking crazy person. And, you know, Chris Rock took it really, really well, but it's just that you don't, you just don't do that. You know, and is there a universe where I could have possibly done that? Of course, I think there's a universe for everybody that could possibly do that. But, but I've never done that. You know, I don't think I've gotten into, I, but have I gotten into a physical fight with anybody in my adult life? No. You know, and then it's been years before I graduated that I ever did, you know, like, don't, I don't do that. Okay. Let's move on. It wasn't fake. There's no way that was fake. No hike with Mike. There's no way that was fake. That was real. That was, uh, 
Yeah, that, 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 that's hurt his career. Oh, did he have Lucinda? He have his hand behind his back? Wow. Yeah, super famous people who can't take a joke. I don't know. No to violence. I agree, Richard. You know, I, I just... I just felt very disheartened. You know, uh, I've always thought Will Smith was a cocky, self-centered guy, but I don't know him. Is he? I don't know. You know, you have an impersonation. You know, when someone walks in a room, you make you make a judgment. Am I right? I don't know. I never liked the guy. But like I said, I, I'm biased because I like Chris Rock a lot. But Will Smith never liked him. So, I don't know. Okay, uh, I'm not going to read that comment there. Dog groomer. They were both in the wrong, but Will was wronger. Well said. Yeah, I'd have to say that. I agree with what you say. You know, and Chris has attacked um, Jada before, but I guess they were, uh, and they are, they're going on about Will, you know, uh, uh, basically smacking that reporter, but that reporter came up and hugged him and got into a space. So, I can't, you can't use that as an excuse. Of, oh, he's done it before. Well, yeah, but the guy came up and hugged him. And later Will said, well, that's his shtick. I just saw that before I come on. That's what he does to celebrities. And he shouldn't do that. So I'm with Will Smith on that one. Okay, I'm not, not going to, we're not going to include that comment. Yeah, he's apologized. He did. But as mo a lot of people are saying, well, you apologize after the, the Academy are looking into it. They're looking into the what happened. So, because he was partying up after that. The Entertainment Tonight guys were on there. Uh, two of the reporters that we were talking about, he, he was partying like it's 1999. You know, he was having a good time. Chris Rock disappeared. He, I, I probably went home. You shouldn't have done that. It was a mo it was just like a perfect storm, you know, and Will Smith is an incredibly talented guy. He's so talented. He won the Oscar. You know, he's made some crappy movies, mostly good ones. I, like I said, I, I've never I had an affinity towards him. I never, I don't support his movies that much, but I do, you know, um, now and then. But uh, it was, uh, hold on. Did the reporter do that? Yeah, that was bad. So I'm with Will Smith for when the reporter came up and did that to him. Like, don't get in my space. That's ridiculous. So people can't use that against Will Smith. I just think he just went too far. It was a perfect storm. Things just got out of hand. And the fact that I've never really had an affinity towards Will Smith, that doesn't matter. There's actors you look at, right? You know, every year, every couple of years on Saturday Night Live, one of my favorite shows still There'll be someone who comes on the cast and I'll go, I don't know what it is about that person. I just don't. Yeah. And it's not always because they're not funny or I don't like their humor. It's just that you'll see people on TV sometimes. You'll go, uh, is he a Scientologist? Oh, Pressy, is he? People are saying that, but they, haven't they denied they're Scientologists? Jada and Will? Uh, it's a... I don't know. I don't know a lot about Scientology. I remember them on the street saying, do I want to do the test? And I remember going, no, I don't. But I was kind of cute because they always have really pretty girls out there. And at the time I was single. Hey, do you want to know more about yourself? And I was thinking, I don't want to know more about you, but sure. And you know, that's the way it goes. Oh, Denzel's the real deal. And yeah, he's been giving Will advice for years. Denzel is a mentor to, 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 to Will. Yeah, he really is. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know the movie, Sunka. I don't know the, 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 the movie. I, I, don't, I know what it's about, um, but I don't know it too much about the movie. Art Matters. I'm, in, uh, I'm an 80s rock guy, 90s grunge where it went south. I didn't like grunge at all. There's a few grunge bands, a few grunge songs that I like, but I wasn't a big, 
a grunge fan at all. Uh, I didn't like Nirvana at all, at all. Their music just was depressing to me. But and it's not a wrong thing. Remember, I'm never going to tell you you're wrong for liking or disliking something. You either like something or you don't. You can't help it. You know what I mean? Let's move on. Well, that's not up to you, but okay. Um, Chris, I like Will Smith TV show, Fresh Prince. Yeah, I used to watch it. Not a lot, but I used to, I used to watch it. Pookie. Chris Rock also didn't press charges. Uh, I don't think he could, though, Pookie. I don't think he, that, that would have made him look, you know, I, I think you have to be strategic for some of this stuff, too. And yeah, you, you couldn't in that situation. Um, David Gregg. Hi, David. Yeah, David, I heard about him doing a bald guy joke. I heard about that. I didn't watch it, though. Best musical biography no one here gets out alive, Sharon. Danny Sugarman on The Doors. That was probably the best one I've ever read. I've asked that a lot. But yeah. Dog Groomer said, never cared for grunge either. And S, S, oh, Stone Temple Pilots, yeah. Yes, I think uh, was one of the best bands of that era. I agree. I agree. I agree by far. They're not the only ones. I like Alice in Chains too. Um, it's terrible what happened to Lane Staley. I mean, that's just terrible. I mean, he'd been dead for a week and his mother finds him. Oh, man. Sitting in that, in that, what is it, chair or Chesterfield or wherever he was, and I've talked to his mother on on, um, I've talked to his mother on email, because when they do the yearly thing, the, the 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 concert, I asked her when I was running a, a rock website once, hey, do you need any help promoting this? Just let me know what you want, and I I just she just said do an article on it. I said, yeah, I want to do an interview. She said, man, I get people ask me for interviews all the time. And I, so I'd rather not right now. I wouldn't have asked her about finding her own son. Everyone knows what that was. No, I can't even imagine. Pookie says uh, Morrissey was depressing uh, with the Smiths, but very cool. I've seen Nirvana. They were cool. They were a great pressy. Will Smith is from Philly. It explains everything. Okay. Not going to do that. Art Matters. Great album. Rush. All the world's a stage. Yeah, three C, a three, well, CD. It probably is a three CD, is it? Or is it two CD? Um, but it's a three LP. I think it was the first three LP album I ever owned. And I had it, I bought it in 77. Yeah, that's when I bought it. Maureen. I love Soundgarden. Yeah, they were good. Yeah. Hello from Boston. Hey, surf boy, how you doing? Nice to have you on here. Uh, I, I've been lazy tonight. I was going to do a video. I, I'll probably pull, still put it up because I don't. I have to pick up my son till. What time is it here? Oh, it's almost eight o'clock. Seven minutes to eight here. We're on Atlantic time, so I don't have to pick him up till eleven. And I was just going. Oh, I wonder if this Zoom thing works if I do it on live because Sarah's from. Uh, 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 Leonid and friends, Leonid and friends. That's how he says it. I, I have to say that. That band that does Chicago songs. I wanted to get him on live and ha have you ask him questions. So YouTube tells me that 5 p.m. my time, Atlantic time, which is 4 p.m. Central, is when most people on my channel are available or watch my videos. Does that make any sense to you whatsoever? Because it says my time, 5 p.m., that's the hot time for me to release a video. Just kind of curious. If you, you know, if you go, wow, I'm never on the internet then, or what the heck? You know. Yeah, the Zoom works fine, Greg. I think so too. Yeah, Surf Boy Zoom's the way to go. Uh, the only thing is, it doesn't have the camera this thing has. So I'm going to have to buy a really good camera for this MacBook, which I said, like, this MacBook is crazy fast, but it uh, doesn't have a good uh, camera on it. 
It's a few, I think it's five years old. I don't know. Surf Boy, YouTube Lies. Hello, John. Keith Hayes. Great interview with uh, Serge, with Leonid. He says Leonid, Leonid in France. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, four o'clock Eastern. So it's, it's telling me that four o'clock Eastern. Hold on a second. Let me just look up this thing I've got. I hope I don't go off the screen when this happens. Time zones. Here we go. So it's telling me, YouTube tells me that, I'm just going to share this with you. YouTube tells me that five o'clock my time, which is 4 p.m. Eastern, which is 3 p.m. Central, which is 2 p.m. Mountain, which is 1 p.m. Pacific, is when most people are on my channel. guys have to be in that kind of time one of you guys are in oh my connection is unstable it says i don't know uh what do you mean no sense on the zoom thing i'm not pookie what do you mean by that oh the truthful song yeah greg a bigs, yes, 5, 5 p.m. Central right now, yeah. Well, this is not the time. They're just telling me 5 p.m. my time. No, I, I know what time it is elsewhere, guys. I, I'm not asking that. Uh, I, trust me, I do interviews all over the world, so I, I, I know how time, the, the different time zones. And I'm not asking you what time it is there, but I'm asking you, when would you like your time? When would you like me to release videos? Pookie says... No, I know it's, I know, I know where you are at. I'm not, guys, I'm not asking you what time it is where you're at not right now. I'm just asking you what's the best time, what time would you like me to release a video? So if you're in, in, in uh, Colorado, I think that's mountain time. I'm not sure. You'd go, I'd like you to release a video at 5 p.m. mountain time or whatever, right? Yeah, Greg says, got you. Okay. No, I, again, guys, I'm not asking you what time it is there. Yes, it froze. Okay, dog groomer, thank you, because it told me I had an unstable connection. I do have an internet connection directly into the, the hub here. If I do an interview, I will um, I'll plug it right in, because the computer is on Wi-Fi right now, so it's not plugged in. But I have to, uh, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go and do my thing. I'm going to go and put Randy, I'm going to go put Randy Backman up. I think we've got one or two more. It might be the last one. So where am I? So thank you everyone for tuning in and hanging out with us. Appreciate that. Now I know it works. Man, at last. So take care of yourself, guys. I'm going to go put Randy Backman up.